Hi buddies, this is Ridip here. In next few videos, I will be talking about React hooks and how to use Andy draw and skeleton component. Right now, what you see is a details of two players. But uh, if we need to see more details, we need to do something else. So at the end of these videos, what we will see, we will be creating a button and on click of this button, we will be showing the details of the player. Now to do this, we will be using use state, use effect and we will be creating our custom hook and the drawer and skeleton. Skeleton will be used when we are doing like fetching something in the background. So that time we will be using a skeleton instead of actual uh, details. So let's start. So first thing, let's go to React Hook site and see. Now React Hooks were introduced in 16.8. Uh, it's been a long time now they have been used. I wouldn't say they have replaced React classes. However, uh, that is not mandatory. You don't need to uh, write all, rewrite your all React classes into React Hooks. However, when you start using React Hooks, you feel really helpful. Uh, the differences between them are it's like React classes have states and lifecycle methods. And then there is a this, which is like this dot state. And we use it within different methods where it may create a confusion. And when this React state, uh, stateful classes start creating more, bigger and bigger, and we have more states, the problem is whenever our lifecycle methods are called, uh, such as did update, and your one state has been updated, but you have to handle other states too, it creates a mess. Now, that's where the React hooks comes in use. Now, React your hooks has use state. Now use state is used to declare the states and it has a method which is going to update only that state. So we can have multiple different states which can be used different and to handle the side effects like mount and mount or whenever some, uh, only one state has been updated then only that has uh, variable uh, state needs to be updated then use effect will be in coming in the picture. Other than that, we also have some other hooks like use context, use reducer for Redux, and you can create your own hooks. That's new. So this will make your life more easy. As you start developing using React hooks, it's, it becomes easy for you. Let's see how. Now, uh, how to declare a state. First thing, you can import it from React and then you can write just use state. You can say use state is a state uh, returns a stateful value and function to update it. Okay, so it's it's going to return you an array. However, one more thing is there that you have you can initialize that stateful va value. So you can pass a string which will be like uh, initial state. You can pass a boolean. You can pass even an object. So it will be setting its initial state for that. You can also pass a function which returns a object. So if you write a function and which is reading an object, yeah, it's going to work. So for now, I'm just saying string. And as I say, it returns an array. So we're going to destructure it. So it's a const and let's destructure as a state value and the second thing is the method so like we had set state we're gonna say set state value now as i said we can use multiple states so we're gonna create one more state so this time it will be a boolean make sure you don't give same name Okay, so the initial state will be blank for set state value and false for state boolean. So let's see, what we have to do is we have to create a button. So on the click of button, only the drawer will be opening. So first let's create this button. Now this button is used at both the uh, both the details page. So we'll create a normal button, const view profile button and say this is going to return andy button now this andy button is a dashed version so i'll say type equal to dashed 
we can pass a style so that it floats on right instead of left let's say float right and view full profile Slash button okay let's use this button below Now I have to make sure this whenever I click this button only Virat is going to pass Virat Kohli Kohli when I click this button just breathe is going to pass so it's just breathe So we have to handle it at the top of the button. <clears throat> so here, say Ning. Now what is going to happen? When I click on this button, first thing, the name should be saved somewhere. And second thing, the draw should be visible. So let's say the first way, state which we're going to use to save our player name is like selected player and the method for that will be set selected player initially it will be blank because no player is selected similarly it's false for visible so i'll say visible and it will be false <clears throat> so our state is declared and our methods are declared now when to call it so on click of this button we need to call it so say on click click select and we'll pass name so Let's create a function const on select name and let's update both set selected player so it will be name and we'll be opening the our drawer so set visible true. So we have created buttons now we have to create a drawer and to create a drawer we'll go to and design site first so and design drawer component so when we click a button drawer will be opening there are two things to take care first thing is the title and second is the components body and this is gray color is the mask so when we click on the mask it's going to hide that drawer so if if you see API, first thing is the closable. If you have to show X icon, by default it's true. Destroy and close. Now, the children, the child components may have different methods. And if you have to destroy them, means on close, they should be unmounted. Then this should be true. Then we have get container. It's going to know, return the node, mounted node, mask. If you want a mask, you can have it. If you don't want, you can remove it, set it to false. So that's helpful. Now we have like title and body. So we can give the style for both header, body and drawer styles. So you can pass your styles here. These are the inline style you can say. <clears throat> Main thing is the title. So title is here. Then visible. Uh, show or height will be based on visible. Width, height, class name, set index, placement. On close. On close is a callback method which will be called when a user clicks on mask, close button or cancel. Right? So let's create our drawer. So I will be creating a component called create details. So import react from react and import drawer from and D 
Okay, so cons career details it's returning us drawer. Okay. Export default okay so I want the ch uh, child's to be unmounted whenever it's been closed so I'll say or oh, destroy on close then it's the title now title will show the player which has been selected so I'll say title equal to player and we'll be passing this player details from parent so player second then we have visible so we'll say visible this has also been passed from our parent and we need a width which will be 644 now and on close method so this is also passed from parent yeah so our drawer is created and in our app component we're gonna call this drawer so let's go at the bottom and here we gonna declare our career details we have to pass the player name so it's the selected player then we have to pass it's visible so it will be visible and third thing is on close so we have not created on close so we'll create it once so let's go on the top and let's create on close method this method is just going to set visible false okay <clears throat> so we have created two states one to save the name of the player and second to show or hide the drawer the on select method to update this both at the same time this is a button which on click we are deciding which uh, player name to be saved on close to close the uh, drawer let's save this and let's see what we are gonna see now yeah our button is created yeah the button is ready and let's click yeah the drawer is open we can see virat has been passed now let's create on just breathe yes just breathe is passed now in this video i'm just showing you about use state uh however in next video we will be talking about use effect which is really important i will say really interesting and also one more thing will be there i will talk about state of using objects because if you are using object, little bit complex thing needs to be done, but just make sure her, you keep on coding and next time when you come, you have a good knowledge of what you state and practice it. Till then, bye and keep coding.